What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So Uber has launched a new service called Express Pool. And I've seen a few people say some negative things about it because we all know drivers don't like pool, right? Now, I don't have pool in my market, so I don't have a lot of experience using it from a driver's perspective, but I do have a lot of experience using pool from a passenger's perspective. I use it in San Francisco, and I recently used it in New York City. And from a passenger's perspective, Uber Pool is absolutely amazing, but believe me, I understand why drivers don't like the pool experience. Now, with that being said, please keep in mind that uh, Uber's 180 Days of Change recently did quite a bit to help improve the pool experience. Um, I'll definitely link to the 180 Days of Change in this video if you want to go and look over that again for yourself. But um, Uber Pool is getting better, and I know a lot of drivers out there are, are waiting for Uber to just kill off pool, but let me, let me tell you guys, I have it on good authority that Uber Pool is not going anywhere, and there are a lot of very complicated reasons for that, but hopefully in the future, we can dive into some of those things and uh, work on explaining that to you a little bit better. So Uber Express Pool is going to knock approximately 25% off the cost of a pool fare. They're going to accomplish this by asking riders to basically walk to smart spots. And these smart spots, you know, they could be as a few feet away, it could be a, a couple blocks away. You know, it's very difficult to say. But, um, Basically, passengers do a little bit of walking, and they can save a pretty good chunk of change on their fare. Now, this not only makes it a little more difficult for the passenger, but they get to trade that little bit of work for money that they save, but it will make it easier for drivers. This will make it so that drivers will pretty much know where they're going to be and when they need to be there. So basically, these smart spots will be in an area, generally, uh, where there are multiple people looking for an express pool pickup. And while I do understand a lot of drivers' concerns, I, I understand drivers are going to be concerned about their ratings because, uh, you know, historically, Uber has not done a great job of explaining to passengers exactly what each service is. There was a lot of problems with that in the beginning with pool, where passengers would just click the button because it was cheaper, and then they wouldn't understand, you know, why are you stopping to pick somebody else up? You know, take me to my destination. I understand drivers have a lot of concern with this. Um, drivers are concerned that Uber is not marketing this, uh, not informing the riders properly, of course. And again, I definitely understand drivers are concerned about their ratings. But while I can't get into the specifics of some of this stuff, let's just say I have it on very good authority that this is something that's actively being taken into consideration. And, and in the very near future, I think we're going to have a, a good solution to this problem. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. I'm going to dive into some of this stuff a little bit more later on down the road. But believe me, Uber is aware of what your concerns are and they are working on them right now. And they've actually been working on them for a long time. So they'll continue working on this long, long way down the road from now. Um, if any of you are wondering why I haven't been on here the last several days, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice and it's not cool all right i just got back from new york city and i the, the project i'm working on is literally taking about 70 percent of my day is tied up trying to get this project completed and uh, unfortunately in the process i've ended up pretty much losing my voice but express pool is something i definitely wanted to touch on i know a lot of drivers are going to be really upset about this but here's the deal uber is constantly looking to attract new riders. And I know that for a lot of drivers, they're thinking, well, you know, I don't want these riders. The thing is, you have to take into consideration Uber publicly, you know, makes it known they're losing a lot of money. Okay, they're really losing a lot of money. Um, they have to find ways of making themselves profitable. If they do not become profitable, you're going to see shareholders pulling out, Uber is going to collapse, and the game's going to be over. All right, that's what could happen. So Uber is trying to do a balancing act, and it's a matter of, of balancing what drivers need with what passengers need, but at the same time, trying to make sure that what drivers need, what passengers need, also aligns with what Uber needs so that they can, they can become profitable. It's a very difficult balance. This isn't as simple as just, you know, pushing buttons and, and making things happen. It's very difficult, and uh, we're going to dive deep into some of the stuff later on. 
but I wanted to to throw some of this out there for you guys that are really you know getting upset about Uber Express Pool. This is a new idea. It's a a new thing that they're trying, and you know I think it would be nice for drivers to know where they're going, to know where the express or, or the smart uh, spot is going to be. Again, I apologize for my voice. And, you know, passengers will get a better idea of where they need to be. Drivers will know where they need to be and where they're going to be going. I think that's a really nice feature. And I think it'll make drivers' lives easier because they're going to know pretty much where they're going. Passengers eventually will get the hang of this. And believe me, Uber is working very hard on informing passengers what this is, what they're doing. And, and in that way, the passenger knows what they're getting into. Um, and, you know, again, when it comes to ratings, try not to stress over that too much because that is something that's that's it's regularly being worked on and uh, I think we're gonna have a, a very good solution for that here in the near future um, so with that being said I'm gonna get out of here uh, don't sweat express pool yet but those of you that have tried it out those of you drivers out there that have tried it please comment below I don't have pool in my market I'm curious to see what your thoughts are what your experience on the express pool platform was and as always like comment subscribe stay safe out there and uber on